Okay, now let's talk about the things that they said that would help that didn't help me. So, they gave me methotrexate. Methotrexate is an old chemotherapy uh, pill. I took that. It seemed to be working, but with a like huge side effect. I started to get really skinny again uh, before, you know, obviously the not eating part. I got really skinny. I got really, really sick. My hair started falling out. Yeah, I was in bed for, I think like three days. I was in bed and my roommates were really like concerned because they were like, oh my God, dude, are, are you okay? And I was like walking like an old man, you know, all stiff. Yeah, it, it wasn't really good. Sunlight, sunlight did not help whatsoever. I went out in the sun and that burned me like Dracula. I was like, like that, it, it hurts so bad, guys. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Besides wearing long sleeves because how awful I look, like I said, the real life Deadpool, it really was also to block out the sun because the sun, man, that, again, it hurts so bad. It was ridiculous. The D3 cream did not help at all. They say, oh, we'll use D3 cream because, you know, to, if you can't get sunlight, use a D3. Used it, didn't work. Also, a thing that I did that possibly could help with the link of uh, helping was uh, L-glutamine. So basically L-glutamine is supposed to help with your gut health. They say that psoriasis has a link to leaky gut, which is another thing. Like I said, there's a million things with psoriasis. This is why it's so trippy, man. This is why, you know, but I'm just letting you know the things that worked for me. I took the L-glutamine and I started using it and th things seemed to be helping. Now, what helped me start eating again, because I told you like, I couldn't eat and all of a sudden you know like everyone's wondering like what happened i was in the hospital and i'm sorry that i can't give you the medication because i don't even remember on the top of my head in my files i i would have to really dig deep to find it but basically they heard that i couldn't eat and there was something wrong with my stomach and so they were they were kind of paranoid about that but they injected me uh in my iv something that said this should help your stomach and calm down and i swear to you i don't know what the hell it was but it allowed me to start eating again um beforehand i couldn't even eat fruits and vegetables that's how bad it was like i would react my body would react it would hurt and it felt like poison was in my blood i know that sounds weird but really it felt like poison was in my blood that i couldn't get to it it itched and hurt so bad but yeah once that happened i started eating again and it was all gravy so yeah i, I recommend if you're having any troubles with this, uh, definitely raw vegan, man. Raw vegan help with the healing. Um, not only that, to go ahead and you know pro try one of the fasts. Like I said, the great fast actually was helping for the first couple of days I was on it. I just gave up because I was just in so much pain and I was going nuts. The water fast, I heard it has amazing results. It helps your kidneys filtrate and stuff like that. The thing about psoriasis though, that also Anthony Williams says that it, it flares up and it flares down, flares up and flares down, doesn't mean it's gonna go away right away like that. It happens in cycles. And I believe that because you know at first I was like, oh no, and then it started subsiding. So, which is really cool. Uh, so, if you know you're doing these uh, procedures and it's still not going away, just keep on with it until you start seeing it because it should like go down, come back. But it's almost like you know levels. It's like, oh, this is how bad it is. It goes down and it comes back up, but it's not at the same level. And it goes down, comes back up, not the same level you, like that. So, you know, try that. What did also help me out with the pain? Okay, what helped me tolerate the pain? CBD. Guys, I'm telling you, I know everyone's like all about the craze, but it's not just the craze. Josh is the head of CBD Orlando, and Josh helped me out with some uh, tincture and also with some uh, CBD to smoke, but he wasn't the original person that got me onto him. The original person was actually my good friend, Lewis. Lewis was in California, and Lewis you know, was the first one to send me like, hey, you know, I heard your psoriasis, I heard your suffering, and he gave me a package, and I'm talking about a package. Um, he gave me a package of CBD oil to uh, smoke, um, some tincture, and also some uh, balm too, which is really awesome. I'm telling you guys, CBD works, and then once uh, I was done with Lewis's package, I met Josh, and then Josh helped me out with uh, his package as well. Um, the tincture helped with the pain so much, I'm telling you, man, uh, uh, I'm talking about severe pain, went away, um, and you know, obviously I had to continuously take it, but when you take it, it nullifies it out, you feel good, and once the pain starts coming in, I would take it again or I would continue to smoke it. Obviously smoking it is the best for you. It goes um, all into your cells and into your lungs and everything else. That really helped me guys, and I'm telling you, if you're having a little iffiness about uh, CBD and marijuana, that worked. Um, 
at the time I did smoke some marijuana too to help me sleep. So when I was in pain before I had CBD, I did smoke some marijuana. The THC obviously with the high made me go ahead and relax and made me put me to sleep because if not, again, I was taking Benadryl, melatonin, the whole nine to um, deal with it. The thing is guys, again, it's not just a rash. So when people say, oh, get over it, it's a rash or you know, for eczema or psoriasis, it's not, I'm telling you, it's not great advice because you're gonna make not only the person feel like shit, but you're, you're really, you know, undermining them and their pain level. Like you, you don't understand until you're there. You know, I had a bunch of my friends come up to me because I came out and said about my psoriasis and stuff like that. They're like, oh my God, finally someone that understands and they don't talk about it because other people told them basically to shut their mouths. That is just a rash and get over it. So don't do that guys. If someone has eczema or psoriasis, please help them out. You know, uh, again, uh, do whatever you can to comfort them emotionally, have empathy. But not only that, if you can, like my friends did, like I said, my friends were fucking awesome. They were awesome to come up and do some research for me. I was doing my own research with these guys. They came out of nowhere and you guys know who you are. Like I said, I mentioned a couple of you, you know, Lewis, Josh, Julia, you know, a, a bunch of you guys, you, you guys came up and you guys did it, you know, and I appreciate it.